Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a back to school grocery haul as well as an easy weeknight dinner and dessert idea. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you what I got for groceries this week. We did a little bit of back to school grocery shopping and we're going to be making some back to school treats in an effort to get my kids to eat better. Um, so this was a big grocery trip for us. The total was about $215. So I'm going to go through everything with you now. Um, as far as meats, I got some meatloaf mix to make meatballs. This is a sirloin steak I'm going to cut up in cubes for kebabs for a meal prep. And then I have three packs of just chicken breast there. We have some tomato sauce for meatball parm that my kids said they will eat this week. Fingers crossed. I got some pepperoni, some chicken sausage for a sheet pan dinner. I got oatmeal, old fashioned and quick oats. I have some tortilla strips that I got for a chicken tortilla soup that I'm making later in the week. Eggo waffles for the morning and then Uncrustables for the kids to have as a snack or for lunch. I got these peanuts because the kids said that they like peanuts. Um, so I got dry roasted and then I also got honey roasted because I thought they might like a little bit of the sweetness of that. This stuff here is for the chicken tortilla soup, or it's actually chicken chili, I guess is what it's called. Um, so I have two cans of beans and then a can of corn. And then this is a can of diced green chilies. These are raisins. We're gonna be making oatmeal cookies and I'm gonna add raisins in and then also they can have these as snacks during the week. I got some mozzarella cheese shredded for the meatball parm bake. And then this is what happens when you order groceries online. Um, I thought this was gonna be a bigger pack of like cubed cheese so I didn't have to worry about it and the package is so small, but we'll make it work. I have mini chocolate chips for our oatmeal cookies. I got some um, sliced turkey just to have as a snack. And then for produce, I have some tomatoes, apples, pears. I got some onions, carrot chips. My kids will eat these. Um, so I stocked up on those. I have jalapenos for our chicken chili. Some cilantro and green onions. These are grapes for a snack. I got some frozen broccoli for a chicken dish that I'm making later on in the week. Um, pineapple, I got two pineapples because we go through that pretty quickly in our house, but the other one does not stand up straight, so it's over to the side. Bunch of bananas, we go through a lot of bananas in our house. And then I got two containers of strawberries. And I do try to buy organic if I can, but sometimes it's just not an option or not in my budget, so I just do it when I'm able. We'll go through that after. I got zucchini for kebabs, some cucumbers, um, broccoli for sheet pan dinner. Even if the sky is falling. And we have uh, red pepper, which I'll use for like salads. Um, and then I did get one package of salad mix, forgot that. And then you saw the tortilla chips there. My kids go through a bag of those a week at least. And we have some coffee creamer because we can't go without coffee creamer in this house. And I got some lemonade. I got some um, popsicle molds. They're coming today from Amazon. And we're going to make some popsicle molds with the lemonade and some fresh strawberries. I'm excited about that. Just some eggs. This half and half is for the chicken chili as well as the cream cheese. I got some hummus. This is just some strawberry jam and cumin that I needed to restock on. And then honey, I'm gonna be making some energy balls. And so that's for that. And that is everything. Normally we spend about $100, $120 a week. So like I said, this was a big grocery trip for us but my plan is to make a few different snack kind of things with the kids in the hopes that um, like I said they'll make some healthier choices and we'll have healthier options for them.
Forgot to add, I got some parchment paper and plastic wrap just to kind of replenish what I had. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a one pot cheesy chicken, broccoli, and rice dinner that I made. This is very family friendly, um, pretty simple ingredients, and my kids ate it and liked it. So I'm just starting with my Dutch oven and I have a little bit of olive oil I'm adding into the pan. And I cut some chicken into bite-sized pieces and seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just cooking those until they're mostly cooked through. Next time I make this recipe, I think I will use a little bit more seasoning on the chicken, maybe just some garlic powder and onion powder, just because it needed a little bit more by the end. Um, so my chicken is all cooked, so I'm going to be adding in my rice and then some chicken broth, and I'm gonna bring that to a boil. Once that's boiling, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium low, cover it up, and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or until most of the water is absorbed. While my rice is cooking, I'm taking a frozen bag of broccoli and I'm just going to steam that according to the instructions in the microwave. Once the broccoli is steamed, I'm just gonna cut it in a little bit of smaller pieces. You don't have to do this step, but I just wanted um, smaller pieces of broccoli so that my kids would be more willing to eat it. Sorry, it's a little bit steamy here, but I wanted to show you what the chicken and rice is looking like. Pretty much all of the liquid is absorbed. And so now I'm going to add in that broccoli into the pan along with one cup of cheese and stir that together. Once that's all mixed together, I'm just gonna add one more cup of cheese right on top, and then I'm gonna put the lid back on and let the cheese melt for a few minutes. And here's everything once the cheese on top is all melted. This is a very simple recipe, but again, family friendly, um, basic ingredients, and I think anyone in your family will love this one. So give it a shot. I also like that it's easy cleanup. Everything in one pan is always a win for me. And for dessert, we're making some oatmeal cookies with some chocolate chips. My kids love sweets, uh, and I thought this was a good compromise to get a little bit of oatmeal in there. Um, obviously, I know it's still a cookie. There's lots of sugar in it, but it just made me feel a little bit better that they are willing to try a different texture, such as oatmeal, in their cookies. So I'm going to leave everything in the description box down below as far as measurements um, but first we're starting with dry ingredients we're combining flour baking soda baking powder salt and cinnamon in one bowl in our next bowl we're going to add in some white sugar and brown sugar as well as some softened butter and we're going to mix that with a standing hand mixer
Next, we're gonna add the egg and the vanilla into this mixture, and then we're gonna continue to beat that for about one minute. Now I'm adding in the dry ingredient mixture from earlier into this mixture and then I'm just continuing to combine that on low speed. Now we're going to add our oatmeal in and then I just gave this a stir with a spoon until it was combined. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love the recipe I'm using called for one cup of chocolate chips and I use the mini chocolate chips and this was just way too much. I would lower the amount of chocolate next time. I know that sounds crazy because I love chocolate, but it was just a little bit too much. Or you could add in some raisins to kind of cut a little bit of the chocolate flavor. And now we're ready to bake. This is gonna go in the oven at 375 degrees. I have two cookie sheets just lined with some parchment paper and I'm using a small scoop to just scoop out the cookies onto the tray. Once I have my cookies scooped out, I'm just gonna flatten them a little bit just with my hands just to make them into more of a disc before I throw them in the oven. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. And these are baking for about 10 minutes until the top is set, and then I'm gonna take them out and put them on a wire rack to cool when they're done. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video gave you a little bit of inspiration, cooking inspiration, ideas on some food items you can get for your kids. Please leave me a comment down below, like, and let me know what else you'd like to see. And until next time, bye guys.